I'd like to discuss with you some of the uh, clothing items that I would bring with me on an outdoor excursion in the backcountry, um, particularly the ones that I would wear when the weather starts to get colder and at night. So uh, we begin with my long johns. I have long john bottoms on and I have a long john top. And I'm actually going to put all of these layers on because I am interested in talking to you about how to keep yourself as warm as possible by prohibiting cold air or moisture to get inside of your clothing. So the biggest message I have is to continually tuck things in. So I tuck in my shirt into my long john bottoms. For those of us who have long hair, I'm going to actually leave my hair covered and my shirt over it as such because this is great insulation, right? Uh, the next piece that I would put on will either be a lighter weight wool sweater or perhaps um, a puffy down jacket. So in the spring, summer, and fall, I'm most likely to use something like a puffy jacket, lightweight, uh, alongside with one of two heavier sweaters. In the winter, I'll probably bring all three of these items. So if I begin with my puffy, on. Um, I want to make sure that I have movement so making sure that these items aren't too tight is really good and it's also going to help us to trap dead air space. Um, air is a really poor conductor, it makes it a great insulator uh, so any heat that I'm giving off, any heat that I'm radiating is going to hang out in this dead air space. So I start here, I can tuck these ones in as well. I really enjoy wool because it's an item that wicks well. If it gets wet, it doesn't saturate the material, such as would happen with a down jacket oftentimes, though there are certain brands who are making um, waterproof down materials, which is great. Um, but wool wicks well, and also if you're by a fire and an ember comes and hits you, um, it's not going to melt onto your skin like some of the synthet synthetics and plastics will do. So a great material choice. Uh, before I put on my most outer layer, <clears throat> I'm going to put on a scarf. Uh, I have found that having a thick wool long scarf is an incredible piece of an equipment. I use it for all sorts of different things, um, but today I am going to show you how I use it for my scarf and my hat. So, again as such. Wrapped around a couple times. Something like that. Then I get to my jacket. And I'm able to secure my scarf and my hat with this outer layer. And hopefully I should start looking like a snowman soon. Puffy dough ball here. Keep everything buttoned. And make sure that you're not choking yourself. If you're cutting off your circulation anywhere, then you're doing yourself a disservice, right? Because once again, we're looking for blood flow to make sure that um, we're able to get heat to all our extremities and different parts and make sure that we're comfortable that when we sleep. Uh, so I can tuck in this sweater underneath. And maybe I leave this one out. Um, this item right here is a really versatile piece of equipment as well. I harvest things and gather things in it, uh, which I'll demonstrate later. But right now, I'm going to use this as an extra kidney warmer around my core here, and also for my blanket for the rest of my body. And I carry Another scarf, which I use for daytime often, um, a little lighter weight, to use as my belt. Keep everything nice and snug. My last step is going to be my socks. Nice, 
thick pair of wool socks. I don't recommend using nighttime socks during the daytime. Keep these fresh and dry and clean. The cleaner your garments are, the more uh, poof that they're going to have. And once again, uh, the more poof you have, the more air that you're gonna have available to you uh, and keep your materials warmer. And we're back into tucking things in. So I'm gonna put these on top of my long john bottoms. like that. And you may look silly, but who cares, right? I mean, I would rather have a great night's sleep and stay warm than um, have a fashion show in the middle of the backcountry. So now I'm feeling pretty set. One of the great things about tucking things in as well is that if I need more warmth, I can g gather duff material, things like pine needles, dried grasses, dried leaves, and actually stuff them into my clothing. So for example, I can get a bunch of pine needles and pine cones too, and start slamming them in and eventually I have this pocket here to hold them and I continue to puff myself up and increase that dead air sprays, increase that insulation. Uh, and I stay pretty warm for the night. I can bring this up if I want. I could have made this a little bit longer if you like to keep your mouth open and instead pull this down. And I'm all dressed for the night. <laughs> 